It's Amy. So I'm sitting here going through my coupon binder. I'm getting out all the old coupons. I thought now would be a good time to start talking to you about getting into couponing. I had some people ask if I would do some videos on how to start couponing. So I thought the best way to start was to actually tell you how I got into couponing. As a, as a small child, I remember my aunt would she clipped coupons and it was my great aunt. She would clip coupons and then she'd pass them on to my grandmother and mother and they'd clip coupons. So they were all sharing one week's worth of inserts. Yeah. I don't know how they did it, but they made it work. Um, now I remember my aunt, she would have like this big bag of bar soap. This was before body wash became really popular. Yeah, I'm aging myself right there. Um, so I always thought, why on earth would you need that much bar soap? Now I get it. You buy it cheap, you never pay retail. So, as a young kid, I actually did clip coupons on my own. I knew that if I could find a sale, you know, find a sale, have some coupons on sugary cereal, I was more apt to get it. Um, I grew up without a lot of money. And I'm actually really proud of that because it taught me how to survive when you don't have a lot. And trust me, I've been there where I don't have a lot because I was in college, unemployed, having to live on, you know, just a little bit of money in it. Yeah, I've been there. Um, so in college, I couponed. I got back into it. I'd get a Sunday paper and my neighbor would give her Sunday paper to me. So, but I was never really like, seriously into couponing. I remember trying to learn couponing from a friend, and she was really into couponing. And I've gotten to watching the extreme couponing or couponers or whatever that show was. Anyway, that show was a bunch of crap. People were doing illegal stuff. Um, a lot of stores don't offer overages. Walmart does, but a lot of other stores don't. And they certainly don't give you money back um and they were buying tons of items per transaction it don't work that way you have to do multiple transactions um so yeah I'm, i wanted to get back into couponing because of that but i never did i just i would clip my coupons i had a little accordion folder type coupon organizer yeah, I put them in there. Still, to me, that's not good organization because you're still having to sort through them a lot in the store if you find a good deal and you know you have a coupon, you just have to find it. And I was also bad for leaving my coupons at home, so I just get frustrated and I gave up. It wasn't actually until a few months ago that I really got into couponing. And I took what I learned, you know, in the past from my aunt and grandparent or my grandmother my papa don't keep on <laughs> um and i just used that information used what i'd learned on my own and used what i learned in youtube tutorials and now i'm passing that information on to you um is keep on an easy no um i'll let tell me show you this mess that spread out before me just so you get an idea of what a, a little bit of it's like. These are some coupons that I ordered from Coupon Flea Market. These are the Razor coupons. These are coupons that are expired and are getting sent out to the Support Our Troops program. These are some coupons I'm using at Walgreens tomorrow. Um, these are some more that need to actually go into the Support Our Troops. This is my binder that I'm currently emptying. Um, these are some coupons I'm going to be using. I have it organized, as are these and these. These I just need to put in the binder. These are coupons that have expired, but you can't send the printed coupons to the Support Our Troops program. Um, these are some coupons I need to organize. Here's one I'm going to use this week. Yeah, yeah, that's some. Um, here's some old inserts that still have good coupons in them. Yeah. 
It may look like a disorganized mess at the moment. I'm just in the middle of getting the binder cleaned out and filled back up. But I just want to give you a glimpse into what it's like. I don't want to discourage you at all. Please, coupon. Um, like, these coupons right here. I'm going to walk away with free Theraflu from the Dollar Tree. These coupons, free Mucinex from the Dollar Tree. These, free probiotics from the Dollar Tree. Um, yeah, I mean, these $4 off two are blessings. Getting two bottles of shampoo for a dollar. Um, there's this coupon I'm going to use tomorrow at Walgreens for L'Oreal Paris Advanced Hair Care Shampoo Conditioner Treatment or Hairstyle Product. It's $2 off, and Walgreens has their own coupon for a dollar off. It's on sale for $3.99, so it'll be $0.99. Cents. So, I mean, yeah, it it takes time. Um, sometimes you'll want to pull your hair out because you're trying to organize everything, get all the deals. That's another thing. Do not try to get every deal. If you miss a deal, it's okay. It's coming around again. Um, but I hope this just, you know, gives you an idea of why I got into couponing. Um, I mean, I'm really passionate about it because, you know, I've always said even if I did have a lot of money, I would still clip coupons. I mean, why wouldn't you? Why would you pay more than you have to, even if you did have unlimited amounts of income? Um, hmm. What else can I say? I guess really why I'm back into couponing is um, we were looking for ways to cut expenses. I'm going to have to pause for just a minute because my cornbread's done. Alright, we're back. Um, what was I saying before the cornbread was done? <laughs> oh yeah, um, we were looking for ways to cut expenses because I ended up I was in the hospital twice within a three month or four month period, I can't remember which, ended up having to have emergency surgery. The first time I was in the hospital, I didn't have insurance. The second time, thankfully, I did have insurance, but I still had a $5,000 deductible. In other words, it led to thousands of medical bills. So one of the things we gave up, which I knew people who had already done it, they loved it, we gave up Dish Network. It was costing us $135 a month, which is just insane, because we were watching less than 10 channels a month. So we did that, got Roku, and I was watching Roku, and I was adding channels on there, and started seeing people using coupons, and I started watching YouTube and seeing more people doing it. And That's also how I got back into shopping at the Dollar Tree. I've shopped at the Dollar Tree in my whole life, but never seriously. Mostly I'd go Halloween, Christmas, maybe a couple times a year, and that was it. Now I go like every week, sometimes twice a week. Um, so basically, you know, clearing up money to pay those bills. And honestly, I love it because the feeling of walking out of a store knowing that you got what was it we got the other day? Like $150-something dollars worth of merchandise for $16? Yeah. So, and you're going to run into some really crappy situations as a couponer. You're going to have cashiers that don't like couponers. Um, and they don't want to fool with you. They're going to tell you that a coupon can't be used when you know it can be because you've used the exact same coupon before on the exact same product. In those cases, you just politely ask for your coupon back and move on. Um, you also get the people in line who are behind you huffing because you're taking, because it's taking a minute for your transaction to ring up and the coupons to come off. There's nothing you can do about it. I mean, if I see people behind me, you know, and I've got a few items, I'm going to let them go ahead of me because I don't want to hold up the line. But some people are just assholes. It's plain and simple. Tony's like, 
Oh my god. But yeah, some people are just assholes. Um so I'm I'm gonna be back with more seri or more series more videos in this series and I hope I can teach you a thing or two and that you walk away saving tons of money as well. Um once you get the hang of it, you're gonna love it. Um and I promise you it's easier to learn than you might think. So I'm gonna finish cleaning out this binder, get my new coupons in there, and I'll see you next time. Bye!